Hi, I'm Marty Padgett from Motor Authority. You know, sometimes it's difficult for us to convince our families and our friends that we have real jobs. You know, tough work, long days, long nights. Well, convincing them is about to get impossible because we're gonna be running buck wild today with two of the hottest performance cars on planet Earth. In this corner, the 455 horsepower Chevrolet Camaro SS. And in this corner, the 526 horsepower Ford Shelby GT350. You've seen the test numbers, you've read the first drives, but which one would we drive daily? Which one would we spend for the monthly payment? Which one would get us into traffic court more quickly? Let's dig in. In case you hadn't realized it, we're in a golden age of horsepower and handling, and these two top guns are fully up to speed. Zero to 60 mile per hour times of about four seconds, quarter mile runs in the low 12s, these instant classics take aim right at each other. In the Camaro's engine bay, a lascivious LT1 V8 on loan from the Corvette. Specked out at 455 horsepower and 455 pound-feet of torque, it's an intimidating and sensational piece of hardware. The Shelby? Oh, nothing but a flat crank 5.2 liter V8 with an 8,250 RPM redline. It sounds like a Ferrari got hot and heavy with a NASCAR stock car. It's 526 horsepower, 429 pound-feet of torque. Just that. Both of them stick it out with a six-speed manual gearbox. Chevy and Ford still give a shift. And both are driven by the rear wheels as the gods decree. We've driven both of these cars all over the country at this point. Around the hairy corkscrew at Laguna Seca, through the Arroyo Secas of New Mexico and Arizona, and here today in and out of Malibu's crazy tight canyon roads. They're both stunning machines with some distinct perks. The things we love about the Shelby, well, that's easy. The latest Mustang finally has ditched its live rear axle. There's an independent rear back there, and it makes a world of difference. It's a little too softly sprung even in the Mustang GT, but the Shelby GT350 irons all that out, polishing the Mustang to a high gloss. It gets a torsion rear diff, a set of magnetic dampers that make it firm when it needs to be, comfy when it can be. And that's before you get to the track-ready GT350R with its carbon fiber wing and wheels and ungodly communicative Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. Those tires are magic, but even on the standard GT350, the Mustang has never been better. It's incredibly poised with incredible grip. It mirrors your steering moves with confidence and breaks away at the limit with lots of warning. We're totally fanboying for the Camaro SS2. With a few Cadillac bits on loan, along with the Vets motor and the first time ever magnetic dampers, it's like a greatest hits package of GM performance pieces. The Camaro's just never felt this lean, this tight, this well-bred, this right. It's also a good bit smaller than the Mustang, than even the last Camaro, and every turn-in confirms that reality. You can aim the Camaro SS at corners like a lawn dart, and it takes unerring aim at the softest, most vulnerable point. Then it sticks the landing. Its 20-inch treads and magic finger suspension do not play. It grips and it grins through corners. You'll have to physically restrain yourself from adding 10 miles per hour to the Speedo every time. These badasses both have some downsides, though. They're not deal killers. There are a few more in the Mustang's column, though. It's bigger, it's longer, it's heavier than the Camaro, and it feels like it. The interior's better than before, but there's a lot going on visually. We're not in love with some of the janky little details, like the light pipes up front, or the why bother passenger side dash binnacle. The Camaro? Well, we dare you to back it up without using the rear view camera. The back seat's not a back seat, it's a backpack containment facility. The cockpit's a big upgrade, but the sheet metal hardly looks any different from the fifth gen car. We're in deep with both of these all-American sports cars, but one of them makes a little bit more sense. The Shelby GT350 is a straight shooter, the no excuses Mustang we've wanted forever. At a base price of about $50,000 and GT350R is going for well over $65,000, it's a car we track a few times a year and seal up in a nitrogen bubble, under glass, ready to break into it when autonomous cars finally come to bore us to death. The Camaro SS had about $37,000 bone stock you could practically have two of them for what a GT350 car gives on eBay these days. It's a huge bargain, and at its fire sale price, you can have two. One for play, one for games. Whichever one you choose, Mustang or Camaro, just keep this in mind. These cars aren't pony cars anymore, not at these prices. And they're not muscle cars either, not with this next level handling. What they are is real performers, real sports cars. For Motor Authority, I'm Marty Padgett. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.